the uh, evaluation of Adrian's game show you? He did a pretty good job. Yeah, he played pretty well, except for turnovers, obviously. That guy put his helmet right on the ball. Those, you know, those are going to have just a one to happen. But we were talking about the fact that, God, in my career, I think I'm our quarterbacks, I've ex- experienced maybe a handful of fumbles. So, <laughs> ask me if he had butterflies. We got to get it correct. Sure. Yeah. Do you feel like he's he's as comfortable in the pocket as he was last year? Yeah, I haven't noticed any any particular issues with that in terms of the evaluation uh, at all. Um, obviously, the game before this one, you know, his eyes were all over the place, so that was a concern. Uh, but he got that corrected. Where we go? Northern Illinois is going to really load up the box. It sounds yeah. like and try to yeah. challenge Adrian and, and, and the offense. Again. How do you guys go about attacking that this week? I think we put together a, a, a game plan that will at least help us uh, take care of that. You know, Coach Frost does um, probably as good a job of anybody in the country putting together a game plan and calling plays. So uh, I don't get concerned about that piece of it as well. What I get concerned about is just our guys being able to make certain that they can uh, bring his game plan to life, really, truly. He, yeah. said, he said the other day, Adrian did, he wanted to get some more receivers involved. Have you seen him locked in on certain guys, or is that just the guys that are open in the reach? So, no, and that's just how the reach progressions go. You know, if the ball gets distrib- distributed X, Y, Z, that's what the defense is allowing us to do with the ball. So I you know, I don't encourage him, and nor do we coach him in any way, shape, or form to get the ball to this guy and so on and so forth. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, on the one sack fumble, did did you uh, did you feel like he hang he hung on to it a tick too long, or was he fine there? Well, you know, there's that fine line between letting a guy know that you got to get out of there, and then going through your progressions, and then one to go. So um, if you start getting maybe a little too over coachy with that, you end up ruining the guy more than anything, I think. So. Um, I think he was fine for the most part. Curious, when Adrian yeah. runs it, he looks more physical this year. Do you, do you like, as a quarterback's coach, seeing him go in there like a tailback? And the yeah, right you know. I mean, look like I, Tim Tebow in one of those. He's runs. a freaking Nebraska quarterback, right? And that's what we want him to be like. You know, he should be a version of number seven Coach Frost, really. That's what we want. We, you know, we want that. And we're encouraging to be um, maybe a little bit more dynamic with that. Yeah. Mario, Adrian, yeah. Adrian had maybe a little more fire to him after the game on Saturday. I don't know if it was different within the team. It was, maybe it was a little different in his interviews. Um, have you seen anything different with his, you know, his, his attitude or you know, the way that he's, um, you know, the message that he's delivering to teammates than what you, what you saw earlier you know, this season, preseason, after week one? No, uh, I think it might be. Uh, if anything, just a general reaction to a disappointment of a loss, you know, I, I think that probably is, has more to do with it than anything. We talk always after the games, and, you know, there was that, um, how would you say, that tremendous sense of disappointment for him and I with regards to having that sense we let the fans down and you guys down in that game. and. You know, we take that pretty personally. I mean, is he jet, but is he pretty demonstrative? I mean, he comes across publicly as, as like, you know, a pretty cool customer. How, 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 do you, how do you see that? In his interactions with the players from that standpoint, he's pretty much just like you see him. Okay. You know, he, he, does, he tends not to be a screaming and yelling guy. I mean, he'll, he'll, he'll get fired up every now and then, but he tends to be a little bit more measured mm-hmm. with his uh, approach to his teammates, at least at this particular point in time.